James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is December 17th, 2022, 3 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Well, we've just had our first M flare for today, December 17th, 2022. It was an M 1.1 flare here. As you can see, our baseline has dropped to a C baseline from a C plus baseline. And this has been our first M flare for the entire day. And it came from Sunspot AR3169. Let's take a look. All right. This is Sunspot 3169. This was taken over 12 hours ago. So it's a little bit further around the limb, but I wouldn't imagine the M1.1 would have an earth component to it. It's not named on this particular setup that was posted earlier, but this sunspot has been named. Again, 3169. Now, with that said, 1951, when the flare hit, we did get hit by extensive x-rays right there. So, something from that explosion was inbound, showed up on our GOES satellite as an M1.1, probably a stronger flare, and we were hit with extra x-rays at that point over the Pacific Ocean. Now, we all know we should be being hit by something from the 26 plus M-class solar flares and all the C flares that were Earth-directed and had associated coronal mass ejections. They have removed six hours from the day. I have no idea why. I'm sure it was a large impact. And we also see space weather indications here throughout. As you can see throughout the day, several space weather indications, but no data to back any of this up whatsoever there's a 11.63 and solar winds have been extremely calm although you have a couple of abnormalities 396 really we've been down at around 320 325 all day long nothing would cause these crossovers that we're seeing here so i'm guessing that we're getting bad data this is definitely the first time i've seen six hours of data taken off of discover wow now heading over to soho here it's like we did get hit yesterday with a little plasma but the day started here and we've seen really no substantial plasma except for just in the last hour or two and solar winds have been very light staying under 375 kilometers per second although temperatures are extremely elevated here so a lot of this data does not make any sense whatsoever. So did all these M flares occur with an earth facing sunspot as we saw that it did? Ladies and gentlemen, these are models, so we'll never have any way of knowing if we're getting a hit now, currently, or if this was all just one big setup. What can help us is if we see auroras all over the skies this afternoon and this evening. God bless you and yours, folks. Share and subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible in the bizarro world.